Welcome back to NFL Wordle, Weddle, the NFL player guessing game, where I continue to do videos for them, and they don't even pay me. But you know who does pay me is the sponsor of today's video, Squarespace. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. From websites to online stores, marketing tools, and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one spot for you to easily build an online presence, especially if you're a content creator like me or just want a place to display some of your ideas, creations, or even build a business. Squarespace is the go-to spot to build that. It's so simple and so easy to set things up. There's so many awesome-looking professional custom templates that can make you stand out from the rest of the competition, and I'm someone that needs that step-by-step hand-holding to really show me how to do things and I'll tell you, I really thought it might have been a little bit more challenging to get a website going with Squarespace, but absolutely not. It's so simple, it's so easy to make a professional custom website with Squarespace. I made a website surrounding Zion McCollum. He needs to be more of a household name, I loved him as a prospect, and he fell all the way to the fifth round. So I wanted to show more people that this guy is really, really talented. So I made a website dedicated to it as ZionMcCollumIsGood.com. And with Squarespace, not only was I able to illustrate how good I think he was, I also was able to seamlessly add in my social links to Twitter and Instagram so people who come across the website can go and tweet me and agree and say, hey, yeah, Zion McCollum is in fact really good. Good. Of course, you can see your analytics with Squarespace, but you could also create a members-only area to monetize your content further and create a new stream of revenue for your business. Squarespace literally has everything, and it's never been easy to implement whatever your heart desires. Go to squarespace.com for a completely free trial, and when you're ready to launch it, go to squarespace.com slash bangle. That's squarespace.com slash bangle to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain like I did. And thanks to Squarespace again for sponsoring the video. Not my best lead in, but that's all right. It's a great company. Check out Squarespace. But today we're doing Weddle, the NFL player guessing game. Uh, they recently came out with Unlimited as well. So I guess we'll do hard mode for Unlimited to make it a little bit more interesting. But let's go ahead and do the Weddle for the day first. There's a hard mode as well. Uh, but we'll start out if you don't know the rules. Pretty simple. But I always forget that yellow is within like two inches or years or the number, so I gotta be more focused with when it's yellow, that means I'm close and not to go like six foot to six five. But I have strategy that I go for. I go for guys, and first of all, the easy mode is just, or normal mode is just offensive players, no offensive line. And the way I like to do it is choose a good age that tells you a lot of information. So probably like a 25, maybe on the young end, because that's where most of the players are gonna be. So we know if it's not in that range, it's probably gonna be somebody at one of the extremes. So either like a rookie, or and they've added rookies as well, or somebody quite older. So let's go with like AJ Brown, why not? Just got traded to the Eagles and we have good information right off the bat. I like to choose someone at around this height as well, and I vary it, but you usually get a good sense of, of what position they're gonna play. So I would say it's either a quarterback or a tight end. We know it's an NFC East player, that's a great start, who's older than 24, but the number's less than 11. Not a lot of tight ends going to be wearing single-digit numbers, even with the rule change, so it's probably an NFC East quarterback. It's been Daniel Jones before, so I'm going to go ahead and not do that. We know he's older than 24, so that doesn't fit for Daniel Jones, doesn't really fit for Jalen Hurts, it'd be yellow. So could it be Carson Wentz? I think he wears number 11, though, right? So it's not going to be Carson Wentz, which leaves Dak Prescott. So I think this is Dak Prescott, and it is. There we go. Never missed one. Hopefully never will, but that's a really good start getting it in two. Not bad. Let's go to the hard mode. All right, hard mode. Here we go. Defense, special teams, offensive line, everything's in here. I usually start with defense here, as you guys have seen in the videos. I played this for a week, and we're, I guess we're going to do a week uh, worth of games in here with Weddle Unlimited. Let's go with a defensive player. Let's go AFC, because it was an NFC East player. Let's go AFC West. That would be... Chargers, Broncos, Raiders. Should we go with a rookie? Let's mix it up. Let's go Trent McDuffie, who is kind of a cool one because he's really small and really young. So we got the extremes working here. Uh, they actually list him at 5'11". I think he's 5'10 and 3 fourths. But I guess he's not really small. But we know he's probably 6' foot or 6'1", where we know he's definitely that. We know he's not a corner, but I believe that does mean he plays on the defense side of the ball. And we don't have the division right or the conference. So it's got to be an NFC player that plays defense. Number is less than 21. So that's really interesting. 
less than 21 here, it's probably going to be a single digit number. So we're thinking single digit number defenders in the NFC that are bigger than 5'11". Now, Kayvon Thibodeau just got the number five, but he doesn't fit here with the age. Older player, single digit number defense. And we know it's not a corner. I was going to throw out a Darius Slay. I think he would have fit pretty well here, but that can't be it because it's not a corner. I feel like I'm pretty good with numbers, but I just can't really think of many. And I guess it doesn't have to be a single digit number defender, but I can't really think of anyone that really fits that profile right now because it would have had to be somebody who changed numbers. Otherwise, the age would be yellow because a lot of these rookies that come in and take the single digit numbers on defense, like they're younger guys and we know it can't be that. We know it's a bigger guy as well. So, it, I mean, it, it could still be a defensive back, I guess, but I think it's a little less likely. I guess a lot of the safeties are like six foot, six one, sometimes a bit bigger. I mean, NFC safety that's been in the league for a while, who would that be? Maybe, did they list Jimmy Ward? Is Jimmy Ward six flat? I guess he could be. Let me throw out a Jimmy Ward. Okay, so they're actually going to list him at corner, which... Again, I like I get it, but I wouldn't really call him a corner. Pro Football Reference lists him as a safety, as a DB last year, I guess. I know he moves all over, so I, I'm not really mad about it, but I feel like to call him a corner is a little bit disingenuous. And he's also 5'11". However, we know the age is going to be about 28 or 29, and he's going to play in the NFC West. I wish I knew the position, but it, I don't get safety crossed off. But this is going to be pretty helpful. We know he plays in either the Rams, the Seahawks. So I'm thinking Cardinals, like Buda Baker, I think could wear a number in the single digits. But I don't know offhand. And he's not 28 or 29, right? He could be close, but I think he might be closer. I think he's 27. He's actually only 26, and the reason I, I looked him up comfortably, and he, he wears number three now, uh, but I was pretty confident it wasn't him because I know he's not that age. I'm not just out here looking stuff up, of course. Oh, that's unlimited. But um, I, I don't think it's anyone on the Cardinals. I guess it could be. Could it be Quandre Diggs? Is he six foot? I guess we'll get Seattle taken away. If this is another 5'11 player, I'm going to be upset. Hook him horns, Quandre Diggs. It is a safety. He's only 5'9". I thought he was short. He played corner at Texas, too. So, at least we know it's a safety on either the Cardinals or the Rams, who's 28 years old and wears number 5, number 2, number 3, or number 4. Weird way to list those, but... I mean, my options are so limited. Who could this be? So I'm going to be honest with you guys. I had a brain dead moment and I, for some reason, thought that NFC West had lit up green and I just started guessing NFC West safeties. So uh, clearly now that I'm looking at this, it's yellow and I'm like, no one on the Rams kind of fits this description at all. Like no one on the Rams, at least that I can think of, is going to be like 28 and where's the number in the single digits. So... It can't be a Ram safety, and then that's what I noticed. It was yellow. So, uh, huge mistake on my part. It's going to hurt my score a little bit, but it might make it a bit more challenging because we are uh, four guesses deep. So, yeah, my mistake. I, I thought it was green for some reason, and I just kept guessing NFC West. But we know it's a safety. I still have not gotten over the 5'11 part, and uh, we know it's a safety in the NFC. I'm going to get it very soon. I'm thinking maybe the Saints, NFC South. I went through every team except for the Saints. Marcus May, he might be a little bit younger than 28, I think is the problem. But nah, I'm not going to guess Marcus May. I, I don't know his number with the Saints. And I think he might be a little bit younger than 28. I think it's close enough that I'm not going to Google it. But I think I'm going to cross off the NFC South for now. I don't think it's anyone on the Panthers, Falcons. I guess it could be, but... No one on the Bucks and Saints is kind of up in the air. So I'm going to move on from that. I might go back to the NFC East here in a second. Giants, no. Cowboys, what number does Malik Hooker wear? Is he even still on the team technically? Not sure about that. Also, I think he's a little bit younger than 28. 
Eagles, I'm not sure. Washington football team. Bobby McCain. I don't know what number he wears. Let's throw out a Bobby McCain. Why not? Bobby McCain. Are you listed at safety? He's listed at corner, but he is 28. He's <laughs> not in the NFC East. It, NFC North. Uh, is it Adrian Amos? I don't know what number he wears. I'm going to throw out an Adrian Amos. Finally, I get to someone who's six foot at least. We know how tall they are. It is in the NFC North. It's not the Packers. I still have a ton of guesses. Like, I'm going to get this. This is just a minor road bump. <laughs> just because I went brain dead. But we know it's either a bear safety. Oh, it's Eddie Jackson. That's who it's got to be. It's Eddie Jackson. All right. Well, that didn't exactly go seamlessly. But I got it. It took me long enough. I think it's the longest I've taken so far. And it's because I had a brain dead moment. And also they list Bobby McCain as a corner, even though I thought he moved to safety. Google's listing him as a safety. Here was the disconnect. He played safety the last two seasons in Miami. And I guess was back to corner with the commanders. So I guess it's not a great guess. But uh, yeah, anyway, we're on to Weddle Unlimited. Let's go hard mode. Let's turn it up. Let's go... Let's go offense. Let's go with a young player. I'm picking C.D. Lamb. So it's not an offensive player, but he does play in the NFC, but not the East. He's less than six foot. The 88 number was not a good one to start with. I guess if it is a number in the 90s, it becomes pretty easy to figure out position at least. But we're so limited. We don't really have that much information here. He's six foot or six one in the NFC. Could be a corner, I guess. Could be a safety. I'll throw out a Marcus May. I was just talking about him. Ooh, it is a safety. He's going to be 27 or 28, who's 6'1", plays in the NFC West or North. Probably, I guess it's unlimited. It's random. So, NFC North, 28-year-old safety. That's above six foot. Is this Adrian Amos? Could be. He's also 29. I just looked at it. It is an NFC North safety. Harrison Smith is a little bit older. Tracy Walker, I just don't know en enough about, even though he is a Lions franchise guy. I'm going to throw him out there. It is Tracy Walker, Lions franchise guy. I was trying to think of safeties, and I mean, Eddie Jackson didn't fit. The number was above four and less than 31, and it could have been Eddie Jackson, I guess, in theory. But uh, Tracy Walker is the answer. Got it in five. I feel like that's probably pretty difficult to do. But there aren't that many options in the NFC North for safeties. Uh, meeting, or meeting this criteria, at least, right? Because we know it's not a Packer. We just had Eddie Jackson. Didn't really fit. And we know it probably wasn't going to be a Vikings player with Harrison Smith being older. And he, there are multiple safeties from each team. But I feel like they're choosing the most notable guy. But Tracy Walker is pretty good. How do we restart this? Just refresh, maybe? Oh, just play again. There you go. All right, let's go. Let's go offensive line. I see Aaron Banks sticking out. It is an offensive player who's 24, smaller than 6'5", but not that close. I'm thinking probably not a quarterback, could be a receiver, but I'm thinking it's a running back in the AFC. Who's a 24-year-old AFC running back? Jonathan Taylor? Try Jonathan Taylor. I feel like that fits. If it not, it's close, at least. Okay, so he's 23. We know it is an AFC player obviously, who is 5'11 or 6 foot, not a running back. So it's going to be receiver, more than likely, right? Because 5'11, 6 foot, 24 years old, numbers less than 28. I think it's a receiver in uh, the teams. Is Hunter Renfro 24? I think he's 5'10 flat, so it's not going to be him. Ryan Edwards is too tall. Could it be Jerry Judy? Could be Jerry Judy. Let's throw out a Jerry Judy. My only concern is he's... Okay. Well, my only concern was going to be that he's not 24. I thought he might have been 22 or 23. He is 23. We know the guy is for sure still 5'11 or 6 foot. I thought Jerry Judy was 6 flat, by the way. That's why I guessed that. I didn't think he was 6'1". But yeah, receiver in the teens. Not much has changed. We just know the division is either the AFC East or... The AFC North. Could it be Could it be Jamar Chase? He's not 24. Could it be T. Higgins? He's too tall. Is Deontay Johnson 24? I think he might be. What number does Deontay Johnson wear? 
Let's throw out a Deontay Johnson. Take care of the NFC North or AFC North. He's 5'10. Dude, I can't. These guys. Uh, he's 25, by the way. We know it's an AFC North receiver. Doesn't play on the Steelers. Who fits on the Ravens here? It's not Rashad Bateman. He's too tall. Devin Duvernay is too short. I, I guess it could be Tylen Wallace. Is he 24? I have no idea what number he wears, but I think it's probably not that. I don't think it's anyone on the Bengals. So that just kind of leaves like maybe the Ravens or the Browns. Is it Donovan Peoples-Jones? I could see him being 24. I don't know his number offhand. Let's go. Let's go for it. Donovan Peoples-Jones. He's 6'2". Not on the Browns. He is 23, by the way. Guy wears number 12 or 13. Rashad Bateman, I think, wears 13. Or, no, is that Devin Duvernay? I guess I don't even know it's the Ravens for sure. Am I missing anyone on the Bengals? Jamar is not 24. I'm, like, positive on that. I think he's he might be 22 now. T. Higgins is too tall. Auden Tate, I think, is on the Falcons now. And too big. Who am I missing? Tyler Boyd is too old. It's got to be a Raven. Do I, 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 I... In my head, Rashad Bateman is like 6'3". I don't think it's Rashad Bateman. Tylen Wallace, I mean, that's the best I have here. I don't know his number, though. It is a Baltimore receiver who's 24, who's 5'11". Is it Devin Duvernay? I thought he was 5'10". He might be 5'11". It's got to be Devin Duvernay. And I think he wears number 13. It is Devin Duvernay. Hook him horns. I thought he was 5'10". I was, like, pretty confident about that. I mean, his, his draft measurements list him at 5'10". But the sneaky little Ravens are out here calling him 5'11". Listen, I have my doubts about that, okay? He's not, <laughs> he's not 5'11". But alas... We go again. I want to have a, a real good one here. Let's go with a defensive player. Let's go with a linebacker. Let's go with the giant. Let's go Blake Martinez. I'm just going to start with the Giants a lot, probably. Oh, wow. It's not anything here. But we did get information. We know he's taller than 6'2", younger than 28. He's significantly taller than 6'2". It's got to be a quarterback, receiver, tight end, uh, maybe a big special teamer, but I doubt it. Number is above 54. I'm thinking it's a tight end. Or a receiver. I guess receiver's not. Did I say receiver? Yeah, receiver's an option. So receiver, tight end, big special teamer. I think those are the only options here. And it's unlikely to be a kicker or punter. So receiver, tight end. That's a big dude. And fairly young. Going to be 25 or below. Let's take, uh, let's take who we were just talking about. T. Higgins. Okay, so we know it is going to be an offensive player in the AFC. We know it's not a receiver. He's still bigger than 6'4". We would have been yellow if uh, if it were T. Higgins because 6'2 to 6'4 would have been yellow. So it couldn't have been T. Higgins at all. But the rest is plausible. Uh, it's got to be a tight end probably, right? Tight end in the AFC. That's 6'5", or 6'6", six, six even. It's going to be a lot of them, unfortunately. I don't think it's anybody on the Jets. Oh, unless it includes rookies, which I guess it does. I don't know what number Jeremy Ruckert's wearing with the Jets. And is he 24 as a, as a rookie? That'd be old. I don't know if he's quite that old. So I'm going to say no Jets, no Patriots. Dolphins? Is Mike Gesicki 25? I think he might be 26 or 27. I don't think Mike Gesicki would be here. But I, you know what? I guess if he was drafted um, in 2018, which I think he could be, I guess at 21, 25 would make sense. He's 26. Okay, so we know it is an AFC East tight end on the Dolphins. That's 6'6". Six, six. It's got to be Hunter Long, right? Hunter Long. It's not. Wow, it's another Miami tight end that's 24, 25. Is it Adam Shaheen? Dude, I'm going through the entire Dolphins tight end room in my mind. It's not Adam Shaheen. Oh, it's not a tight end. I'm so stupid. 
Dude, why do I keep thinking that I've got the, the correct position? It's not a tight end, clearly. I just, in my head, it's like it had to be a tight end. Who else is this? Oh, it's an offensive lineman. Oh, I forgot that was an option. All right. Is it Robert Hunt? Now we're just going to start name. It is Robert Hunt. I named rapid fire three Dolphins tight ends that really all do fit other than Shaheen is 6'7". I mean, they're all very close. Yeah, geez. I forgot about offensive line being an option. That's on me. That's on me. I know it's like all of you. I'm screaming at my monitor. Uh, I'm screaming at my phone. I'm on the bus. People are staring. God, dude. I'm sorry. I forgot. Defense. They don't do defensive line ever. Is DJ Reader not an option? Oh, they got dots in there. All right, we know it's a defensive player in the NFC. I chose 98. Oh, what a, what a stupid start. Uh, younger defender, less than 6'3". He's six foot or below. Probably a DB. Not for sure, but probably a DB. Who's pretty young, too. Young defensive back in the NFC. Now, I don't want to guess AJ Terrell because I kind of have done that before. It's been an answer, but I know this is unlimited. Probably could be anybody. Why did I type in Carlos? I wanted to type CJ Henderson. I, I typed Carlos. Is, is his name Carlos? Now I have to find out. We got a lot of information there, but Christopher, that's it. So not as fun as Carlos, but uh, it is not a corner. Where's a number higher than 15? We know he's 24, 25 years old in the NFC. He's six foot or 5'11". I think it's going to be a safety. Safety in the NFC. I mean, they're, they're asking me to guess an NFC East safety. It's just so hard not to guess only Giants players. <laughs> but we know he's older than 23. It's unlikely to be a rookie or even a second year player, although I guess that is possible. NFC East, could it be J. Ron Curse? I think he's bigger than 6'1". So significantly so. I think he's 6'4". I don't think it's a cowboy. I don't think it's a giant. I don't think it's an eagle. Could it be Cam Curl? I guess it could be. Let's throw that out. Okay, it's not a safety. He's 6'2". Huh. He's also 23 on the nose. Number higher than 31. Could it be a small linebacker? He's six foot for a fact. We know he's six foot. Could be a linebacker. Plays in the NFC West. Or the NFC North. I mean, it's got to be a linebacker. You're not finding an edge rusher or an interior defensive lineman. And we know it's not a D tackle. So it's got to be a linebacker in the NFC West or the NFC North. Let's figure out who uh, it could be. Roquan Smith. I like Roquan. Roquan's an answer here. He's shorter for a linebacker. I think he's six even. Yeah, I like Roquan. This is going to be it. It's not. <laughs> he's 6'1". No, he's not. Six foot and seven eighths. All right, I'll give it to him. That's fine. Uh, we know it's an NFC West linebacker who is 24 years old for a fact and six foot flat for a fact. Where is number 57 or 56? Oh, that's not, a, I don't know anyone that fits that description off the bat. Rams, is it is it, why did Troy Reader pop into my head first? Now I feel like I have to guess it. This is like, it came from above. All right, he doesn't fit. So this is how I found out that Troy Reader is on the Chargers now, is playing this game. Uh, so that's a thing. See, my problem is I just don't know how big some of these linebackers are. Like I'm thinking of the Niners linebackers and like, I know who they are. Like, but how tall is Dre Greenlaw? How tall is Al Shire? I'm going to go Aziz Al Shire because it's so random. All right, he's 6'2". He is 24. And we know it's not a Niner, so it's a Ram. It's a Seahawk. I, I think is Jordan Brooks. I think Jordan Brooks is bigger than six foot, but I just don't know. Ooh, my Chili's is here. I'll be back. I'm going to think about it. And what do I think? It's, the, it's Rams, Seahawks. And I shouldn't... Ugh, the freaking Chargers, dude. Why is Troy Reader on the Chargers now? It's the Rams, Seahawks, and the other NFC West team is the Cardinals. Could be... Saving Collins is too big. Simmons too big. I don't know. Okay. I've given it some thought. I'm back now. It's been about longer than it should have been. 
Uh, I think Jordan Brooks is six foot, is where I am on this. Now, I, I, he could be bigger still, but I could see him being six foot. I think he could be. For the Rams, like Ernest Jones, I think is big. I think he's a big linebacker. I don't know that he's 6'3", but he, I guess he could be 6'3". I don't think he's six foot. And he's closer to 6'3 than six foot. And I don't, I don't really know a lot of. I'm gonna go Jordan Brooks. I think, I think he's the most likely answer, and he is. He's really six flat, huh? I don't know why I thought he was a little bit bigger, but six flat it is. And I've gotten all of these in seven. I have not exactly dominated here, but I've gotten all of them, I guess. Let's do one more. Let's go with a rookie. Let's go with, it's going to be like a first round pick if it's a rookie, right? Let's go with the number one overall pick. Start with Trayvon Walker. He is 6'5", plays offense. It's an offensive lineman, a receiver, a quarterback, or a tight end. I think those are your options. Again, it could be a big kicker or punter. That's a possibility, although I find it to be unlikely. Number is lower than 44. Let's go with a quarterback. Let's go with an NFC quarterback, of course. That's 6'5". Is the goofball. Is Jared Goff 6'5"? He might be 6'6". But he could be 6'5". I typed in goof, dude. Oh, my goodness. What's his name? Jared Goff? <laughs> Let's go with Jared Goff. He's 6'4". It is a quarterback in the NFC that's 28 or 29. This is good info. Is it Carson Wentz? I could see it being Carson Wentz. Is he 6'5"? I think so. Now, the only question, is he older than 30 or 30 or older? I don't, I don't think so. Let's go Carson Wentz. Killed that. I'll do one more. That was three. Let's go with another rookie. I mean, this seems to be working. I've done one and successful with it. Although, I guess I did start with Trent McDuffie, right, on the other one. Let's go with who was the eighth pick? That would be Drake London at USC. Okay, he's taller than 6'5? Wow, 6'6, six six, uh, older than 20. That's, I think, pretty obvious. Could be a quarterback again, could be a tight end, could be an offensive lineman. The number five is not a great start. Number five for Drake London in the league. Interesting. Uh, but we know he's on offense, so it's quarterback, tight end, O line. Older than 20 by a bit. Lee's plays in the AFC. Who does that fit? I'm thinking, I mean, I, I threw out all those Dolphins tight ends earlier. Let's go with Mike Gesicki. Why not? Okay, boom. <laughs> Got that in two. I guess I'll do another one. Dude, this rookie's draft strategy has been a killer. Let's go with Jamison Williams, the 12th pick out of Alabama by way of Ohio State. So he doesn't have a number yet. That's not helpful. You know, he's older than 21, smaller than 6'2", plays defense. I think it's probably a DB or a special teamer. But I guess at 6 foot or 6'1", you can be a linebacker too. Let's throw out a linebacker. Let's go. I don't want to throw out a linebacker because it's more likely a DB. Let's go with a corner in the AFC. Got these drain flies that really try my patience. I got one. But I saw another one. They like touch tips midair. I think I missed. No, I got it. Ugh, on the inside of my middle finger. Listen, I, I, I keep a clean house, but these things fly up from the drain in the summertime. I hate it. If you live in Texas, you probably know what I'm talking about. At least Houston. Anyway, I, where was I? I'm thinking defensive back in the AFC. Uh, let's go Buda Baker. Talked about him earlier. You imagine if it was him. It is a defensive player who is six foot flat. We know that for a fact because of this range. He's six even for a fact. Probably a corner. I mean, I, I guess not certainly, but probably a corner. That's 26 years old. Oh, I just chose an NFC player. God, I'm so stupid. Let's go. Uh, it's not a safety. I was going to throw out Nasir Adderley. I really got to, like, think before being stupid. It's AFC corner who's six foot and 26. How many guys can that really be? Could it be Michael Ojemudia? What are the odds that that's correct? 
Broncos corner. He might be a little bit younger than 26 is my problem. I'm not going Ojemudia. I've changed course. I kind of crossed off the AFC West in my head just because none of the options really seem to make sense to me. So I'll move on. I liked Kenny Moore for a second, but I think he's a little bit too short. I like, I like Shaquille Griffin as an option probably. 26 is just kind of a weird age where they're not like a veteran who's been around for a really long time. They're still probably on or just off their rookie contract. And I think Shaquille Griffin makes sense to me. It's exactly who it is. I know I'm not doing process of elimination out loud, but it's way easier if I just think about it and then kind of work through it live. But when I'm going through every team and being like, okay, it's not them. Probably some of you might like to see that. Maybe I'll do that on the next one. I'll do one more because that was also really quick. But this rookie method is insane. Who was the... Uh, let's do, let's do an offensive lineman. Let's do Kenyon Green at number 15. Kenyon Green. Now that was a stupid guess because he does not have a number, but I don't know. It's been working. All right. So six foot four on offense plays in the NFC. I got to remember plays in the NFC. So don't think of a crazy guess and just throw out an AFC player, offensive player that's six foot four. It's a receiver, tight end or quarterback. Uh, more than likely. Could be a tackle, I guess, but or a center, but unlikely. Now, I think it's most likely a tight end at six foot four. I think Irv Smith Jr. kind of fits the criteria here. As long as he's 24, he might be like 23. So I've definitely guessed him before in one of these videos. I'm going to go Irv Smith Jr. He's 6'2", and he's 23. But we get information. What information do we get? Not really anything. Well, you know, he's 24 or 25. We know he's 6'4". Uh, he's not a tight end. So he's a receiver or a quarterback that plays in an NFC division that isn't the North. Let's just throw out a quarterback. I think that's also fairly likely at 6'4". Let's go with an NFC West QB. Who, and 24, 25, I mean, they're fairly young. Niners do not fit. Yeah, Niners don't fit. Seahawks could be Drew Locke. I can see Drew Locke being six foot four. Let's go Drew Locke. He's going to be close here. NFC West, number fit. Everything fits for Drew Locke. Okay. It's not a quarterback. We know he's 24 for a fact. I think there's a decent chance I can get this on four. I'd like to get it on less than, than five guesses or five or less guesses. You know he plays in the NFC South or the NFC East. Six foot four receiver. Let's just think of that as an option. And it could be an offensive lineman still. We only know it's not a guard is the thing. But let's think of receivers who are six foot or six foot four in the NFC South first. Bucks. Mike Evans is not fitting the requirement. I don't think anybody else would. Don't think any Panther fits. For the Saints, could it be Lil Jordan Humphrey? I'm gonna guess him just because it tells us NFC South or receiver like it gets that out of the way plays on the saints texas legend wow a lot of information here so we know it is an nfc south player for the saints who's six foot four and 24 is that cesar ruiz he's going to be listed as a guard so it can't be him eric mccoy is he 24 surely not surely not but i'm gonna go I mean, we know it's an offensive player that isn't a quarterback, tight end, or receiver. It can't really be a running back at 6'4". It's got to be an offensive lineman, surely. Eric McCoy is kind of the only guy that fits, but is he only 24? I mean, surely not. Wow, Eric McCoy's 24? I would have thought 26, probably. He's so good and so young. Like, 24... Guys are coming into the league that are older than that right now, and Eric McCoy's been a good starting center for a few years now. That's wild. All right, I'm going to do another. I know I said one more like five ago, but I'm doing this rookies thing, and it's working out. Let's go with George Karloftis. Please have a number. He does have a number. Wearing 50, 60, 6 4. How many six foot four players play in the league, dude? This is ridiculous. But we know he plays in the AFC. Is 22 or 23 and plays offense or special teams. I think, again, more likely it's going to be offense always, but not for sure. Let's go. I mean, it's just pick a division here at 
at a at just six foot four and and 22 or 23 years old we really don't have a lot to go off of but we know a decent chunk could it be michael pittman jr kind of the first guy that popped in my head he's definitely very close to six foot four if not six foot four i think he's probably 22 or 23 plays in the afc i think does he wear a number in the teens, though? I hope so, because we're, we're going to guess him here. Michael Pittman Jr. All right. Does wear number 11. Is 22 or 23. Much has not changed. And it's an AFC South receiver. So is it anybody on the Titans? Is Nick Westbrook Akina six foot four? Yes, he could be. So we're going to have him in there. Nick Westbrook Akina for the Titans. For the Jaguars... Who's a 6'4 receiver on the team? Colin Johnson's not there anymore. He was on the Giants last season. 6'4 receiver on the Texans. Ooh. Is Nico Collins 6'4? He's going to be close. Let's go Nico Collins. Former Michigan receiver. And that's who it is. Okay. I know I said one more. I keep doing it like less than four. So I, I'm going to keep going. This video is going to end up being forever. But that is the trend on this channel. Let's go with a top 10 pick. Let's go with my Giants. Kayvon Thibodeau just got number five, but will that be updated in game? Number five is not a great number to start with anyway. Let's go with, let's go with Wandale Robinson, actually. Second round pick. Was he not in the game? Or is he Juan apostrophe Dale? All right, well, let's go Wandale Robinson. <laughs> so this is actually good information. He does wear number 17. I think that was announced, but that's not in the game yet. Whatever. Six foot or six one. Doesn't play offense is probably a corner or a safety at that size. Let's throw out, I mean, NFC South. Let's go Sean Murphy Bunting. Okay, so he is six flat, still older than 24. Does not play defense is the big thing. This is a kicker or a punter in the NFC West or NFC North. Let's go with, I mean, Michael Dixon's going to be older than 24. Hecker's not there anymore uh, in LA. He's with the Panthers. Just kickers and punters move around so much. It's kind of tough to remember who plays for who. Um, let's go Jason Myers, the Seahawks kicker. It is an NFC West kicker. He's only 5'10", though. I don't know kicker heights. I'm going to be honest with you guys. He's older than 30, though. That's interesting. We know he plays on the Niners. I guess it's not super interesting. There are some old kickers. Is Robbie Gold back? I, 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 this is going to sound crazy. I, I, I don't know what team Robbie Gold plays for now. He's kind of been all around. I want to say he's still going to be on the Niners, but I could be so off here. Oh, it is Robbie Gold. Okay. Got that in four. I guess it's not that difficult because we know he wasn't offense or defense. All right, fine, guys. You got me. I'll do one more. <laughs> I'm just going to keep saying that for like an hour. This is actually the last one. Let me choose, since we know, rookies are tough because we don't know the numbers. They're not great ones to start out with, but I think it is more fun. And I've been dominant doing this method for some reason. Let's go with, who's a rookie? Trevor Penning, offensive lineman. I see he's too tall. He's like 6'7". I think that's a bad one to start out with. You know who's a good rookie because he's a little bit older? Let's go Jermaine Johnson. Okay, so he's 6'4", 6'3". 24-25, plays in the AFC on offense. That is, I don't think, is T. Higgins 24? He might be, I think he's more likely not. I think he's probably 22 or 23. Not going to go Bengals. Jamar Chase is shorter than you probably think. Steelers, could be Chase Claypool. Now, he's been an answer before, but this is unlimited. Am I going to go with Chase Claypool? Why not? Oh, big time. Receiver, 6'4", is 24-25, does wear number 11. This should be huge info. This has got to be the first time I've correctly gotten the number before like anything else. But I know he's a receiver. I know he's 6'4", so that's also big information. But AFC West, number 11 receiver. Is it Mike Williams? Is he 11? I think he could be. I just don't, I don't know for a fact. I think he's actually... Oh, I don't know. We're gonna keep we're gonna keep an eye on that one. <laughs> is Mike Williams eleven? I want to say he wears a number in the eighties. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think he wore. I want to say he was five at Clemson. Anyway, so Chargers is an option maybe. Brian Edwards 
Is he 11 or 13? I think he's 11. I think Brian Edwards is 11. He's a receiver. He's 6'4". He's going to be about 24, 25 years old. I'm going to go Brian Edwards. He also could be 23, but all right, 6'3". Well, we know the division now is the AFC South. He's in. He's 89? Why did I think he was... Oh, 11 was Henry Ruggs. That's right. Um, so AFC South... The, the options are so limited here. It's Michael Pittman Jr., right? Is he 11? Did we just know that before? Was that an option? It is. I'm going to do another... Listen, I have to do another one because that's already been an option. Not today, but on another video, and we already saw him earlier. <laughs> I'm going to do one more. I feel like the drunk at a bar that's just asking for another drink. I, just one more. It's like you've had 15. Dude, they got to cut me off. NFL draft pick. Let's go with a linebacker. Let's go Devin Lloyd. Devin Lloyd is a linebacker who is, he's wearing 33. I'm going to puke at linebacker. What are we doing nowadays? Has it not gone too far? Linebackers wearing 33. Anyway, AFC linebacker that's bigger than 6'3". Big dude. It's probably going to be an outside linebacker, by the way, because at six foot four or six five he's probably a rush linebacker so we can think of three four schemes colts well it's not an afc south team so forget about that afc east the jets are not the patriots are they i mean matt judon could be listed at linebacker i think he fits let's go matt judon he's six three but we know he's 30 or 31, plays in the NFC North, or the AFC North, or the AFC West. Also, Judon wears number nine. I did not know that. Like, obviously, if there, there was, like, serious money on the line or something, or you're really playing, you could go through every team in your head and really just cross off guys who, like, fit the best. Like, real early. You could get a lot of these in two or three, but I do like to throw out a guess. We're not thinking about it too, too hard. Uh, AFC West, though. Go through the West teams. Is it a Raider? I think they're a 4-3. They could have changed, though, but I think they're going to be a 4-3 because Crosby is going to be listed at defensive end, Max Crosby. So is it the Chiefs? They're also a 4-3 team. Is it the Broncos? Well, they play 3-4. Could it be Bradley Chubb? He's not going to be old enough. Going to the Chargers, it can't be Khalil Mack because he's... While he fits most of these, he's not 6'4". He's 6'3 on the nose, I believe. So it can't be Khalil Mack, from what I can recall. So we've eliminated the Chargers, Chiefs, Raiders, and Broncos. So I don't think it's the AFC West, meaning we only have the AFC North left. TJ Watt is not old enough. Alex Highsmith is not old enough. Can't be the Steelers, in my opinion. The Bengals are a 4'3 team. So and this is going with the theory that it's a rush linebacker, by the way. This is just a theory, right? Not necessarily true because we're running low on options here, but I don't think it can be the Steelers or Bengals. Ravens are a 3-4 team. Which linebacker for them is taller than 6-3? Is it, I mean, Tyus Bowser's not old enough. Neither is Adafe Owe, so I don't think he can be the Ravens. And the Browns are a 4-3 team. I'm okay. So this this didn't work like I anticipated. And I suppose it's also possible that there's been a scheme change that I'm not aware of. I know Khalil Mack is 6-3. I know he is. But they could have a linebacker that's bigger that plays off the ball. Could this be Troy Reader? Was he 6-3 when we looked him up? I think he was 6-3. <laughs> um... I mean, I got to throw out a division on one of these. I just, I'm trying to get it in three. And I'm having a tough time thinking of backers that are 6'4 and play off the ball. It's not super common. And the only real ones I can think of are NFC guys, like Anthony Barr, for example. And the older than 29 thing is also like pretty interesting. He's 30 or 31. So it's a vet who's been around for sure. I'm going to throw out an AFC West guy. I got to remember older than 29. I got to remember the full picture. I was about to guess Troy Reader. If it said 6'4 earlier for Troy Reader, I would have already guessed that and ignored 29, which he definitely isn't. So let's just throw something out. 
it can't be Joey Bosa because of age. Like, see, there's no way Joey Bosa's 30 yet. Could it be Chandler Jones listed at linebacker even though he's on the Raiders now? That could be a thing. Even though he's going to play defensive end for them, he still could be listed at linebacker because of playing in the defense in Arizona. I'm going to go Chandler Jones. Have I beat the system? I haven't. It is a Raiders linebacker at 6'5", who is 30 or 31, wears number 56 or 57. Raiders linebacker. Oh, you're kidding me. At 6'5"? I'm just, I'm not, I'm not going to be able to get to this one. There's no way. Because the actual linebackers on that team, like Max Crosby, is he not a defensive end? Technically, they're 4'3". I swear they're 4'3", or at least they were. So I'm thinking of six foot five off ball linebackers for the Raiders. I can really only think of a few linebackers on that team. I don't think any of them are six five. This is a good last one to end on, like an actual final one, even though I may get it in four. Just trying to think of Raiders linebackers. I might end up having to go to the method of looking at every name on the list till I see a linebacker that matches up. Did the Raiders sign anybody? This is also, some of you are going to call this cheating. Uh, I say it's taking advantage of everything the game gives me. Is al Qadeen Muhammad a Colts defensive tackle? I don't know why I paused at him for a second. Like the name that pe- keeps popping up in my head is Nick Kwiatkowski. One, I don't even know if he's on the Raiders anymore. And two, I don't think he's 6'5 or older than 29. Also, my fear is that I'm missing someone like really, really obvious on the Raiders that I just, I either I forgot they got them or... I mean, I don't think it could have been a new acquisition, man. I think they would have had to have been there. Bo Pete Keys, that's always a name that you see it and gives you pause for about a second, but we're we're beyond it now. Bun Me Ratimi. See, some of these guys, I know it seems like I probably know way too much <laughs> about who plays on what team and, and, and where, but some of these names I do not know. Like, I even know Cameron Cheeseman, the long snapper. What I don't know is Bo Pete Keys and I mean Cal Adamitis was a long snapper in this year's draft. I don't even remember what it was. It was so crazy. Who drafted Carl Granderson? He was a Wyoming defensive end. I don't know where he plays for sure, but I could see him being a Raider. I for some reason in my head I connect him with the Broncos. I just don't think that's true. Corliss Waitman. Man, seeing names I don't know is never a good sign. Also, if I get through this entire list and don't find someone that I feel like matches to my recollection, I'm going to be at a lot. I don't know where Dante Fowler is nowadays. Is he still in Atlanta? I guess he could be. The combination of being 30 plus, plus a six foot five linebacker, I feel like something should be like painfully obvious but I'm just getting nothing. And also like clearly with all these kind of what I would consider to be a random name, like there has to be a higher weight that some of these players are going to pop up versus Drew Desharlis. I, 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 I don't know who that is. And I don't know if I butchered the name, which I probably did because we're not seeing like, you know, Aesop Winston Jr. pop up, right? Like that isn't an option. We're, we're seeing recognizable names, but you go to the list of all the potential options and, I mean, clearly, we're not seeing these names pop up. Oh, Jesus. Evan, whew, Evan Caesar check? I don't know about that one, but this actually gives me a really good title for the video. I played Weddle until I couldn't get one right. That actually fits the one more. I might intro with that now. I would love for even one of these guys to stand out as, oh, that's definitely a a linebacker for the Raiders. It makes sense. Like Jahad Ward's on the Giants now, although he would have kind of fit, but isn't that old. Like Nick Kwiatkowski again, I do not think fits at all. If it ends up being Nick Kwiatkowski, I don't know what I'm going to do. Like I can really only connect, has Justin March Lillard played on the Raiders? He isn't old enough, but... That's maybe has been a Raider. I know he's for sure been a Chief, but uh, this is really tough. It really is. Could Marcus Golden be on the Raiders now? I 
think he's still going to be with Arizona. I mean, <laughs> I'm like, who else is on the Raiders? Divine Diablo has been in my head for about 10 minutes now, uh, despite not fitting at all because he's way too young and not 6'5". He's a converted safety. Imagine also scrolling past the guy. Real possibility. Could have happened. Here's what I'm going to do. We're about to get to Nick Kwiatkowski. Is he not even... Is he not even on the team anymore? Okay, that's telling. Shows what I know. Because if they're not on this list, it means they're not actively on a team in the NFL. So that's great. Also, just found out there are two Ryan Griffins in the NFL. Really only know the one. Shane Buch... No way Shane Buchel's on an NFL team. He get drafted? He's on the Chiefs. Did he get drafted? Did not get drafted, but... I guess made the Chiefs, hook him horns, Texas legend. And it re- okay. I'm just going to scroll back down to Shane. We're all good. Shaquille Quarterman is a Raiders linebacker, but I do not believe he is 30. He would have had to been at Miami forever, and he's definitely not 6'5". Is he on the Raiders or is he on the Panthers? I think he's on the Raiders. I think he was only on the Panthers for a brief while. I'm going to throw him out there just to get another one in there. He's on Jacksonville now. Oh, I'm thinking of Denzel Perryman. Okay, well, let's throw out a Denzel Perryman. He's 5'11". Listen, I, I knew it wasn't correct. <laughs> Why didn't Shaquille Quarterman and Denzel Perryman just get flopped in my head? Just both Miami linebackers that played at very different times. That's kind of all that is. Um, right back to the S's. Shalik Calhoun. What's he up to? Was he Illinois? No. Yes. See, I'm Shalik Calhoun, was he Syracuse? I might be mixing him up where where at least where he went to college with um Dwayne Smoot or Dewan Smoot. Is Shalik Calhoun not on the Raiders? Was he ever on the Raiders? I thought so. He's listed at linebacker. Is 6'5, is 30. Yeah, that's right. He was uh, Michigan State. Yeah, Dewan Smoot for sure is Illinois. Also, Middletown, New Jersey. Shout out Monmouth County. And was on the Raiders 2016 to 2018. But, I mean, I'm just filling up the guesses at this point because I'm just going to end up guessing random stuff just to find out who the answer is. I'm not going to leave you guys wondering. I'm sure Raiders fans probably know. Some of them at least. I don't happen to know. Tano Passanio. Where is he now? Was on the Chiefs. Definitely changed teams. I don't think he's 30. Probably would be listed at defensive end. Tabor Pepper. Okay. It's a guy. Did Does Tier Tart not have two T's in Tart? Maybe it's just Joukowsky who does. T. Gray Scales? Who, okay, I'm looking it up. Is on the Steelers actively, I guess. Undrafted at Indiana in 2018. Linebacker. Can't say I've ever heard of him. I mean, I've seen some Raiders linebackers in here. Just, I mean, just like with the Denzel Perryman thing. I, I knew he didn't fit. Because in order to be a six foot five linebacker that's 30, it's a rare combo. It really is for the Raiders, who are a 4 3 team, at least in my head. I can't come up with anybody. Willington Prevalon? What are you doing to me? He doesn't even have a Wikipedia page. Plays defensive end for the Bucks. I've I've never heard of him. Was on the practice squad for the Packers. Okay. So now the very real possibility that I've scrolled past the name is a thing. Like, high possibility. Like, 100%. Pretty much to this point. But I wonder if I've ever heard of this guy. That's the next thing that comes up. You see Durant kind of stuck out for a second. Um, I just don't know where some of these guys play. Yeah, I, I straight up do not know. I do not know. I'm tapping out. Weddle, you got me. I will be guessing AJ Brown all these times in a row. And the correct answer is Kyler Fackrell. He is on the Raiders now. Have no association with him in the Raiders whatsoever. I know Packers. He put up double-digit sacks. I know Giants. He was a Dave Gettleman signing who did not last long. I think he went to the Chargers. And now he's on the Raiders, apparently. Maybe even was last year, but I did not know Kyler Fackrell was on the Raiders. Yep, he signed with the Raiders. I gave you his entire career path in order, plus a fun fact about a good season. And he's the answer here for the Raiders. 
I was supposed to know that Kyler Fackrell signed with the Raiders. Ah, it's absolutely brutal. But that is it. This is the uh, Weddle from earlier. But that's going to do it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm tapping out. Kyler Fackrell got me. <laughs> See you in the next one. Take it easy. Joke, I'm laughing so loud. Speed burst good.